Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Space Engineers video on V-Rage 3. Woo! So, I was going to drop the entire newsletter on the NTF when it came out, but it literally said in the newsletter there'll be something big dropping on the 23rd. And then there was precisely nothing. Thank you for that cop-out, Keen. I mean, it's not unexpected from you, but there we are. Anyway, on to the actual newsletter. Here's the relevant bit regarding V-Rage 3 on screen. A couple of things for V-Rage 3 want to implement a completely new unified grid system. I've talked about this a lot, so you're not going to have some nattering and you can just read. But what's interesting, I will say, is we have up to 2.5 meter and on with no upper bound. So basically, the blocks can be like as big as you fucking like, which is fantastic. Block shapes are handled within the same 25 centimeter precision. A 2.5 meter slope only occupies half of it, leaving the other half for further construction. Basically, in the base game, uh, one large grid block literally takes up, even if its slope takes up the whole block area. This has been changed, so now you can actually build in it, which is great. The system automatically adjusts snapping. You get visual cues and new render materials, sort of parallax mapping. We already knew that from my video. Texture depth as well. Sort of rounded bevels on arm edges and between blocks of different colors. So this basically makes kind of the merging of blocks and the essentially easier. Again, we talked about this in my V-Rage 3 video. Anyway, all the other features have been popularly retained. Now here's another bit. I believe this will revolution the building in our upcoming games. Games is plural. So it's interesting to see whether or not they do a Space Engineers 2 and then like another game aside that, maybe Roman Engineers. I can't help but notice that Marag still have a Roman Centurion uniform in the back of shot for every live stream he fucking does. But now here we do have the full demonstration of the unified grid system. So in this we do see a large placement grid, now I really do hope that we have an option to toggle this on and off because that would be so helpful. We see some new armor decals as well and some new catwalk designs which we can scale and honestly it's scalable catwalks and catwalks for small grid I really really wanted. The only little interesting update that we had in the actual live stream was that America Zogley said that blueprints can be used in the hotbar. As in, you'll be able to take a ship from your blueprint menu, have it in your toolbar, this is presumably in creative, and be able to paste as many as you like. Now I think this is going to be great for doing large amounts of fighters. I will say the one thing that does confirm me is the fact they state there's no upper bound on how big you can sort of go. Because that means you can have one heavy armor block the size of a planet. I'm wondering how the resource scaling is going to work. Because the way I would do it, again, I will say, disclaimer, this is a pure bit of speculation, and I know everyone says, oh, speculation hurts developers. For this little bit, I'm just doing one. Okay, comments, calm down. It's just one little bit. I think that the it should scale linearly with the block. So, 
you know, the small block should cost maybe one steel plate. The large grid should cost the usual, like, what is it, 25 for a normal large grid block. And then it should scale, keep scaling up in terms of that. The other thing as well that I'm thinking out is I feel like the block health should also scale this way. But also in doing that, the block hitbox will get bigger with the block itself. So again, I feel like that should be kind of how it works. Again, one bit of speculation on how this system would work practically. But anyway, as always, there will be another newsletter in December. And they have said that there will be a big announcement before the end of the year. So I'm probably guessing this may be either the next update or the new game. Or it could even be a release date of year 3. We don't know. But we're certainly soon to find out. So thank you all for watching everyone. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.